Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Real estate investment company Kingston Properties is looking to set up operations in five other Caribbean territories. Chief Executive Officer Kevin Richards says the company hopes to acquire new properties in these countries before the end of this year. We're also looking at other um, territories such as Bahamas, Panama, Puerto Rico, Dam Rep, Turks and Caicos Islands. Um, we, we, we have engaged persons and we're having a number of conversations with persons in those markets who are, who are, who are giving us good insight into to, to what are the, the, the opportunities, what are the right opportunities there and, and we're, we're something that we're actively pursuing for 2019. The United States has imposed major new travel restrictions on visits to Cuba by its citizens. The restrictions include banning stops by cruise ships and ending a heavily used form of educational travel as it seeks to further isolate the communist government. The U.S. Treasury said the measures are a response to what it calls Cuba's destabilizing role in the Western Hemisphere, including support for the Nicolas Maduro government in Venezuela. Cuban government figures show that 143,000 Americans arrived on cruise ships between January 1 and April 30. And that's more than the 115,000 who arrived by plane. The figures exclude Cuban-born Americans visiting family on the island. Commercial airline flights appear to be unaffected and travel for university groups, academic research, journalism and professional meetings will continue to be allowed. American rapper Jay-Z has made history as hip-hop's first official billionaire. That's according to respected business publication Forbes magazine. The rap mogul, whose real name is Sean Carter, has been conservatively estimated to be worth one billion U.S. dollars by Forbes. He's one of a handful of entertainers to be reckoned as a billionaire and the first hip-hop artist to do so. Jay-Z has, Jay has accumulated his fortune through a number of endeavors, including alcohol brands, his music, and clothing. We go down to currency trading as the day ended with the U.S. dollar selling for $132.02. The Canadian dollar is going for $98.15. It now costs $167.08 for the pound sterling, while the euro is being sold for $151.24. Now the JSE index gained 1,815 points today, while the junior market lost 15 points. Among today's winners were Medical Disposables and Supplies, Nuts for Express Services, KLE Group, Main Event Entertainment Group, and Separate. Among the losers were Sweet River Abattoir, Iron Rock Insurance, Express Catering, Siboney Group, and Lasco Distributors. And that's the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening. <laughs>